everyone I hope you're well so today another Disney thing video for you and today I thought I'd share with you my family Disney essentials so many of you have commented and requested quite a few Disney related videos so I thought this would help you out if it's your first time going to Disney or even if you have gone before may help you remember a few things to take along with you as well. I'm going to apologise for the lighting, it is very dark in this room today so I've had to put my main light on plus my two lamp lights that I normally put on but yeah I don't really like having the main light on. Another thing as well, I don't know what's going on with my hair today, I thought I would change it up a little bit because I've been having my hair half and half so much lately that I thought I would have it down but I don't really know what's happening so yeah just ignore this mop on my head so let's get on with this okay so the first essential that I'm definitely taking with us is comfy shoes or boots now the worst thing is walking around Disney you're on your feet constantly all day and having the most uncomfortable list pair of shoes so I definitely recommend taking a really comfy pair of shoes or boots now we're already there while you're watching this so it's pretty cold there I think in January February and March time so if you're going in these months then I would definitely recommend getting your kids maybe some snow boots to keep their feet nice and warm these are the ones that I've got Freddy I did show them in my Disney haul they're just from Asda I think they're around 12 pounds something like that they weren't expensive um, and they're lovely and fleeced inside so it's going to keep his feet nice and warm got tailor a pair as well I'm actually gonna just be wearing my trainers I did try and find myself a pair of snow boots but I couldn't find any but my trainers are really comfy so I won't mind wearing these and I also have a new pair of Disney vans as well that I'll be taking with me and um, but yeah they're super comfy so I know I won't be moaning about blisters on my feet or my feet being cold and if you're lucky enough to be going in summertime I recommend not wearing flip-flops we have been in the summer months before and I wore flip-flops and by by the end of the day my feet were killing so I recommend really nice comfy sandals as well so if you're going in the winter or cold months in the next couple of weeks then I definitely recommend taking thermals I have been in February time before and it was absolutely freezing so cold that the fountains outside the main Disney hotel had frozen so I'm definitely taking thermals with us it's better to be too warm than too cold I've actually only recently bought these so if you're struggling to find some for the kids I got tailors from Peacocks in 8 to 9 and these go up to 9 to 10 and they were £5 I also then picked up some for Freddy this actually is a pack of two and you get grey and black ones for £6 from Asda and they say that they go from one to one and a half to 13 to 14 years unfortunately they only had one and a half um, and three to four so I couldn't get tailors from there but at least I found some in peacocks for him and then I also picked up myself some from Asda as well and they were six pounds and they do do white as well and grey I think um, from 8 to 24 so yeah they're available in every size my husband Charlie already wears these on a day to day basis as he works outside in a garage all day so he would just be taking the ones that he's got but I mostly get his from either Primark, um, Sports Direct it's much easier to find men's long johns than women's and children's so I just thought I would share where I got as from so sticking with the colder months I definitely recommend taking hats scarves and gloves um, as I said last time I went in February it was cold I don't think it's as cold this year I have been checking the weather um, but you never know until you get there so I'm being prepared and I'm taking hats scarves and gloves with us I don't want the kids to be moaning that they're cold or rather they'll be moaning that they're hot and they can just take their hat and scarf and gloves off um, I don't want cold children walking around a park and then suffering with the cold when we're there so yeah I'm definitely taking these with us so I've got a few essentials to save some of them pennies while you're out there definitely take a few snacks now I found these ones that are by Annabelle Carmel and they're all Disney themed so I thought they were really appropriate so I've got 12 packs of raisins I've actually got two of these so I've actually got 24 packs of raisins but they're only like the tiny little boxes 
so they're really handy and then i've got like these apple flavor and raspberry flavor tasty goodness and um, they're basically like a go-ahead bar for children yet again they've got mickey mouse on them so i thought they were appropriate and then also cheesy mini breadsticks yet again with mickey mouse down there just keeping with the theme of disney um i definitely recommend taking a few snacks with you so if the kids feel a bit peckish you don't have to sit down and get something to eat if you don't want to when you're queuing it keeps them entertained um yeah so i definitely recommend taking a few snacks with you Another saving money tip that I do when I go to Disney is take beakers and bottles with us. Now I've got my big water bottle, that's because I'm using it at the moment. Trying to drink as much water as I can. But I'll also be taking beakers and bottles for the boys. Now I definitely recommend this because drinks out there are so expensive. You're going to pay about three to four euros for a bottle of coke so yeah i definitely recommend taking beakers and what you can do is at breakfast time fill them up they've got juices so like orange and apple juice and um, they have water they have tea they have milk and um, so yeah i definitely recommend taking these with you and you can fill them up for breakfast and you've got a drink to last them you know until lunch time and then you can buy something but it's saving a few pennies there definitely now if you're a big tea drinker like myself then i would definitely recommend taking a kettle with you now this is a russell and hob one we've had this for a few years i just keep it in the box so i know where it is but it's got the two cups in it the kettle and two spoons i have been to disney many times and each time i go i take the kettle so i definitely think there is no kettle or tea facilities in a room we just find this handy out so we don't have to wait until we go downstairs at breakfast time for a tea so we take this with us so we can have a tea while getting ready in the morning so i definitely recommend taking a kettle with you if you're a big tea drinker like us now another thing that i recommend if your children are still drinking milk out of a bottle or out of a cup like taylor and freddie are big milk drinkers what's really good plus for our tea we take long life milk now i'm actually taking about four of these because we will go through them also um i may take this to the restaurant with us in the morning because to us French milk tastes a little bit funny, same as probably if French people come to England, our milk probably tastes funny to them. Any country that I go to, milk sort of tastes a little bit different to our own, so I always find taking milk with us is a good bet. At least then the kids will eat their cereal if I use this on there, instead of using their own milk. Um, I don't want them going, no I don't like it because of the milk, and then they're not eating anything at breakfast. That's another one of my essentials for Disney any holiday really that i go on this is a big essential for me sticking with the food and drink essentials i have picked up this i think i got it from poundland um what was a really good buy it's basically a spoon and fork and it has its own little case i'm sure you can pick this up from anywhere but it's lightning mcqueen yet again appropriate for disney but I definitely take some cutlery with me wherever I go because it's not very likely that places have small cutlery for your little ones and you don't want them using a big fork or their fingers. So I definitely recommend taking some cutlery with you. Even for breakfast time, he has got a spoon to eat his cereal with. And then I can pop them in his rack sack to take with me into the park. So if we stop for lunch, he's got some cutlery with us and also for dinner time. Um, so they're not struggling with a big knife and fork and spoon paracetamol and cowpole now i actually don't buy cowpole because the infant one doesn't do up to taylor's age and then obviously the one that i have to get for taylor doesn't do freddie's age so i actually buy the morrison's junior paracetamol um basically this goes from three months to 12 years so if you're a bit like me and have a big age gap between your children definitely recommend this because then you don't have to buy two different cowpol solutions obviously paracetamols for myself and mr b it's better to be prepared i'm pretty sure that in the park there isn't anywhere that you can buy these from so definitely recommend taking these just in case so another essential of mine is actually washing powder now this is a holiday essential for me not just a disney essential i basically put a tupperware 
pot with my normal washing powder, a couple of scoops in here, and then I put it in a sandwich bag just in case the lid comes off. I don't want to open up my suitcase and have it full of washing powder. So the last few months, Freddie has been toilet training, he's doing really well, but occasionally we do have a few accidents, so this is going to be really handy for me if I need to wash a few pants or trousers. Um, also, thinking of you mums out there, if the kids are messy eaters like my boys and they get something down their top, if you don't want to do a full blown wash but you just want to make sure that you get the stain out so when you get home it's going to be washed easier and you're not going to be left with a stain. There is soap in the room, they do supply you with like normal soap um, so you could always use just the normal soap to get a stain out if you're thinking about taking washing powder for just stains. So my last and final essentials that I'm taking with me to Disney are to keep the kids entertained. I have mentioned them in my previous video but I'm taking my little portable DVD player. This is good for on the train, but also in the room. I think most of the channels that you get on the TV in the room are in French. So if you do have one of these, I definitely recommend taking it, not just for the train journey, but for in the room, for when you're getting ready, they can be quiet watching their film. Um, also colouring, as I said, I showed these in my other video, not just for the train, but also in the room to keep them happy, you know, when you're getting ready or when you go and sit back in the room after dinner, they've got something to do before going to bed. And then I'm just taking some playing cards for me and Mr. B, because obviously, yet again, the telly's all in French, so we won't have anything to watch. So we're just gonna take some playing cards with us because we enjoy it playing cards together. So yeah, we've got them for us. So that is all my Disney essentials that I'm taking with us. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped you out if you're going to Disney soon. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if it did. Also, leave me a comment down below. I love reading through all your comments. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. It does mean the world to me. Also, please share with your friends and family if you think that they will enjoy my videos as well. So until my next one, bye.